what? Quite I honestly don't know what I want. This is gonna be hard. I'm gonna be late for work. <laughs> Still gonna brew. Got a diamonds direct y'all and look how cute they are it's so simple and cute hello my lovely animals welcome to vlogmas day seven i think i am quickly doing a little intro here it's a little windy so sorry about the wind if you have any it's kind of out of order but i think today is the day the slow vlog day that i've been wanting to put another video in with the holiday shopping i don't have anything other than all of me eating lunch hi Excuse me. Yeah, I'm gonna go. My hair's a mess. Makeup's a mess. My tongue is burnt. Everything's falling apart. Ah. How adorable. Representation. That is what I'm talking about. Let's do this workshop. And I need to get this. I should probably get this tonight. This is how it looks like in the daytime. They're sending me home early at work today, so I get to edit. So that means I get a 10 minute break instead of the one I was gonna have originally. Sorry, I had to turn off my walkie, but I'm just taking advantage of their little nacho bar. Look how beautiful the lights are in my church this year. They even did the bushes. They're doing the most, and I love it. It's so cute. So, since I'm home early from work, it's not so boring after all. But I'm gonna still try to squeeze in something today. If it goes over, then. I'm not gonna put it in. Tomorrow might be a slow day too because it's the weekend and you know, I can't really vlog on at work, especially on a busy day. But I got a package from Influencer. And Influencer is like basically a reviewing service. They send you products for free, so it's a try. And then I almost forgot what this was because I thought it was a fragrance. I sent it to my house. I normally send this to my PO box, but it's a Ralph Lauren fragrance. And it's Ralph Lauren Beyond Romance and I said yes to this one because I like knowing what things smell like that we don't carry at Sephora we don't have Ralph Lauren I'm trying to focus here don't have Ralph Lauren and this is a 0.25 ounce pretty small a typical travel size roller is around 0.33 ounces Beyond Romance the daring new fragrance that transforms the everyday into the extraordinary um, there's a little bit of background noise, so sorry if you can hear that. A new adventure in romance, mysterious, daring, and wild. The fragrance that goes beyond with a seductive blend of fresh rose, centifolia, and luscious black vanilla. So this one is going to be like a sexy, fresh rose at the same time, and then luscious black vanilla, so it's going to be sweet at the same time. Fresh rose, centifolia, absolute, goes beyond exciting, beyond sensual, and beyond traditional rose perfumery with this cascade of 100 petal rose blooms in hand picked in province at their peak in the dewy morning hours that's a really long sentence lily of the valley intensifies the fresh floral floral sea <laughs> while undertones of jasmine illuminate within i love jasmine jasmine um, makes it smell oriental and the rest just tells me that i need to review on ulta macy's and sephora oh this is a cute little deluxe size maybe it's the one that you dab hopefully i can smell it because i have quite a lot on me right now i sprayed on myself versace arrows for women for foam in the eau de toilette so this is the little Eon Romance. 
let me focus focus and again if this is the first time you're watching me I did cut two of my fingers while working so I have little minion band-aids on yeah this is a dabbing one. Oh, is it a spray I'm so confused it has a little stick in there oh it's a stopper so this is the one that you dab on I'm just gonna dab a little bit on my wrist so I don't have any fragrance here because when I'm at work I don't want to go here here it's definitely different than what I smelled before I can't put my finger on it I've never smelled anything like this it's pretty sweet from the black vanilla and it has like a little tiny bit of something very small musk in the back of it so that's probably where they get the little seductive part in there. It's not something that I would wear. It also smells like candy. Like I can't put my finger on which candy though. Like like a now and later or something. That little bit of that back end of the note. I, there's something about it that I just not my favorite. I do like sweet florals, but I don't like them too sweet because the ones that are really sweet. I'm not saying that this is gonna do it because I haven't worn it long enough, but the ones that are like really sweet, they tend to change at the end of the day and it doesn't smell good at the end of the day when they're too sweet on my skin. Um, but yeah, let's roll that footage, shall we? Hello my lovely animals, welcome back to my channel. My name's Anne if you don't know who I am and today we are gonna be doing some holiday shopping at Sephora. I'm trying to blow through this video really quick. Yes, I haven't been on YouTube in five ever, but I'm here now so if you miss me, hit that like button. <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna get right into the video, so let's do it. I have a little haul from Sephora. I am going to do this based on my purchase history. This is just encompassing like all the holiday shopping that I've done, starting with Rouge Preview, Too Faced Friends and Family, the Friends and Family event, holiday bonus, and up to now, I'm gonna put all the Too Faced stuff together even though I kind of bought some of the stuff separately. I did have some items for Rouge Preview. If you don't know what Rouge Preview is, as a Rouge member, which is a member who spends over $1,000, you do get early access to things and once a year for holiday, they do a Rouge Preview where they have a few holiday sets, whoever's ready to launch them already. They have a closed door event and then they have little items, I think. My brightness is a little, a little bit high, so I'm gonna fix that. Hang on. Is that a little better? I did like a really quick setup today. Hang on, refocus. Okay. This is a little better, but not the greatest. I have a new ring light. I have a little bit of a new setup. I told myself I wasn't gonna catch up. Try not to catch up, but just to explain the situation here, one of my lights broke and it's just a lot to drag around right now. I have to break this down again, it's like set up. So the backdrop is a little, it's a little dark right now. This is the Christmas cookie house party. Now they do like these gingerbread houses every year or so. They like, started doing this. Smells like fresh baked gingerbread. Too Faced does these little things where they kind of do the break apart things where you can put different items in people, different people's stockings to have a mini better than sex. A mini Too Faced shower insurance. They were just right up top here. And then a melted matte gingerbread man. So gingerbread man is a seasonal color that they do every year. It's a little bit of an orangey color. I haven't bought this one in a full size. One of my managers really loves this. It's just too orange for my skin tone. It's really a lot better for someone with fair skin and on my skin it just looks a little crazy open it up and you have all these palettes these are magnetic but they do come apart I don't have a desk either. I'm like it's a mess a mess I would, I'm just trying to hurry up and put this up on YouTube so this is the little blush palette and highlighter it comes with okay this does smell like sugary so I have a highlighter in Get Frosted, a blush in Daydreamer, and a bronzer in Extra Toasty. We have a main palette here. This is the main part of the house. 
and we have all these colors so this is a typical eyeshadow palette from them so we have some frosted colors we have some mattes we have shimmers etc really great to work with these are super easy to blend as well let me just swatch i love you all for you really nice color on that one really nice peach i still have some swatches on from work try get elf up this ring light situation is not working in my favor at the moment the quicker i get this up and just explain the items the better because some of these items are selling out my favorite part of this is a six eyeshadow thing which is part of the door with the gingerbread man this has all the foiled shadows in there my goodness so we have like two blending colors like um all over lid and something to deepen and then these really crazy foil colors so i'm gonna do snow pink so i'm sorry this isn't a foil it's more of like a glitter a pressed glitter this one is a nice glitter as well so you can pat this one on top of your shadows Again, really great for the holiday season. Tis the season to sparkle. The Better Than Sex Mascara is right in there. But let me show you Gingerbread Man. Yeah, this one smells like gingerbread again. Gonna put this one right up here. That's Gingerbread Girl, another limited edition shade. They had this one last year as well. Smells like fresh baked goods. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. It's a little bit deeper, if you can see that. God, worst YouTuber of all time, right? It's a little bit darker, a little bit more wearable for someone with medium skin. Like I convinced myself I am. I haven't come down from my tan yet. So I have the Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. Again, I got this palette last year as well. And I like these palettes they are layerable so you kind of have to work with them to get them to the pigmentation that you want has that sugary gingerbready smell we have some base colors some that's a little bit more flesh tone something that's a little bit lighter some blending colors which is really nice they have these pink ones and they have these warm browns sparkly colors here a nice rose gold to kind of go with these pink colors and then a pop of blue which is really nice. And then I have the Better Not Pout, but if you do keep it classy, lip gloss set. I bought these because they're extra sparkly, but it's not glittery. So the glitter on that is kind of fine. Really great for holidays as well if you need to put something on the lip. Again, these were on friends and family, so everyone in the store that came in that weekend was allowed to have 20% off of all Too Faced items. It was only $25. It's a $48 value. Really great for four glosses. Again, you can put them in people's stocking. They have peppermint bark, eggnog, spice cake, and sugar plum. They have a little bit of a sweet fruity smell. That one's sugar plum. So they are different scents. This one smells like spices. That one's spice cake. This one is eggnog. Wow, I told myself I wasn't going to swatch, but like I can't help it. That one smells cinnamony. We have peppermint bark. Hmm, it got on my nose. <laughs> that one smells a little minty. There are those designs on there. Super cute to give for Christmas. So we have like a pink with a blue shift in it. We have the spice cake, which has a little bit of gold. We have a bronzy gold lip gloss with a little bit of blue shift. And then we have like a champagne, almost white with a rainbow shimmer. So this item is also out of stock online. The Hourglass Ambient Light Palette for the year. This one is the Lighting Edit in Ghost. So this one has the blushes and the contours in them. You know, you don't want to go full glam all the time. I like the Hourglass 
stuff for clients that want like a more natural look but it's like very airbrushed this one has a finishing powder and dim light finishing powder and diffuse light strobe powder and iridescent strobe light bronzer and an eternal bronze light strobe blush and iridescent rose and a blush and sublime flush the finishing powders are basically going to make it look like you have like a very natural highlight on so it looks like you're lit from within kind of or lit in the room where just hitting you in the perfect spot you want to put it in like those high points of the face like you want to put it in the center of the face to kind of bring that light in your face not like a highlight where you put it on the very highest points of your face like these little areas here that is what the strobe powder is for the iridescent strobe light this one number three would be like a highlighter the highlighter that you would think of and then so I really love this blush it's super pigmented and this bronzer is really nice because it gives like a bronzy effect without being too muddy and it doesn't look like you put on a ton of product so these products when I say layerable they are super layerable like super light amount but not sheer like it's really hard to explain like hourglass products they're so amazing they're so slept on because people want to see the results but if you're trying to do like that that natural look where it just looks finished but you want to put like the foundation on and finishing powder i love these 80 dollars um it is kind of steep so i did have to bite the bullet for them it's not something that i want to buy every single year but i did decide to get it this year because I had a client to do that needed a more natural look because she was younger. I went for this and it's a great addition to my kit. I don't regret it at all. Love this stuff. She looked amazing and I was proud of myself. Pat myself on the back. This one is the undress lip kit. When I go on a job and people ask me for a very specific thing and I don't have it, I definitely go out and buy the item. So one thing that I was missing was a ton of nude lip options that wasn't crazy because I started to notice that my lip options that I had, they were very dark and not what brides wanted. So I went and got these. So these have five colors in here there's four liquid lipsticks and one gloss it kind of looks like there's two glosses here but that one's just a metallic liquid lipstick so we have sand on mute peachy and beaming liquid lipsticks and we have summer vibes so i guessing that this is supposed to come out during the summertime this one has crazy value this was 40 dollars liquid lipsticks cost 20 and then the glosses are 18 i have an immense immense collection of Anastasia's liquid lipsticks it's probably the most collected thing in my collection I don't regret this at all like, I collect sets I collect singles whenever they go on BOGO at Sephora I like try to pick some up so this one here is sand I'm just gonna give you an idea of the consistency so this one feels really nice really like the regular formula that they have at the moment i'm gonna try this one i already tried peachy which is a peachy nude on mute and i really love these because they have the nude caps i don't have any of the liquid lipsticks with the nude caps and i wish i had all of them with nude caps because they have uh, silver chrome caps. This one's really nice for like a medium toned uh, mauve nude with like a little bit of gray in there. And then we have beaming. Uh oh. That one felt a little open. I am very picky, guys, about like the condition of like my stuff when I pick it up. So this one, this that one's really cute. I like that one. That one's definitely like not an all-over lip color that I would put on, but I would probably take peachy and then put beaming in the center because it's so metallic that when you put it on the lips, you don't want to go all the way in the corners here. This one is the gloss and this one is summer vibes. Really excited about that one. Champagne all the way through. Like it's champagne with champagne shimmer. It's very bronze, like when I put it on the skin. Can y'all even see the swatches? on me right now it's so like washed out and i'm like so upset with myself anastasia beverly hills and Romita pro pigment palette oh my god i need to get all of these palettes and i'm probably gonna pick up the blue one probably sometime this weekend with my credit card rewards sephora has a credit card program now isn't that wild so this one is volume one which i have some of it on my eyes today um i put it on at work 
like I used the tester at work <laughs> to put it on and by the time I got home like it was just so funky so I just reapplied another palette which I'm going to show you in a second with uh, some Huda shadows but this one is the palette I'm going to try to show you without revealing too much in here it is kind of a mess this palette here like these Norvina palettes the ones that cost $60 the way that she put it she was like I'm not even gonna bother naming these I'm just going to number them it's a1 a2 a3 and then you go down here to the next row and then it's um, b1 b2 so it's like a b c d and then it goes one two three four five so that was really great I will warn you that these are definitely pro palettes and it says it on here pro pigment palette volume one These definitely are for more of the I wouldn't say like professional because anybody can use these palettes But definitely for someone that knows what they're doing with eyeshadow someone that just lightly taps into the product and put it on Because when I use this this morning I already knew about how the product would function because I'm very familiar with Anastasia shadows Oh my god, I'm glad that I'm not trying to put on eyeshadow in five minutes I, I'm glad I have like 15 versus like five minutes because if I would have only had five minutes I would have been on the floor looking crazy because these do take a little bit of a burst hand in order to blend these out because it can easily go everywhere because it's so highly pigmented and these shadows are softer so I would just be careful with the palette the purples the purples were really cohesive and then a really nice shimmer as well over, over time, over the day, Anastasia shadows just look great because they melt with the skin and also the pigmentation is so great on them that sometimes when I put like an Anastasia, like I mix a palette with Anastasia and actually I did it with this other Norvina palette here, the Norvina shadows outlasted the other shadows that I put on my face. I got the Norvina mini palette when we got the little end cap, so there was like a little bit of concern with why Norvina launched so many palettes and when I realized that there was an end cap I was like that makes so much sense people were complaining that like oh my god they're like releasing all this stuff back to back they're not giving all these collabs like a time to breathe but look these collabs are still selling honey people are still buying the Jackie Ina palette I need to buy the Carly uh, Bible palette but I had to support my girl Norvina first because she did the thing the mini palette in volume one this one is just like a little sister to the uh, the bigger volume one it has like the pink color story um a little coral color story uh the purple and then burgundy to go with it and then it has like two eyelid shades like if you don't like wearing colorful shades you will need to have like other Anastasia shades to supplement this like either in singles or like a different palette and just to make it a little bit more wearable oh my god I have this sitting here like how unprofessional of me that's a little block to put the camera on and it didn't go on also got these um eyelashes or Norvina palette was 30 by the way these lashes are 12 and I really love these this one here is in the style eleganza I love these because they look so much like a demi wispy that I can sell at Sephora it just has that little cat eye effect but nothing too crazy something demure nothing too full but natural looking and not too long this one has just the right amount of volume to where I feel comfortable selling it to someone that wants something more natural and then ba-bam we have so Hollywood Ugh, anything so Hollywood from Anastasia give it to me because it's just so iconic at this point so this one has a little bit of a crisscross and then it has gaps in between so you can kind of kind of see the eye look that you put on like so if you're doing a cut crease you don't want to cover up with voluminous lashes like I am today just because I'm like so obsessed with voluminous lashes and I need to like wear these to kind of make my look show through oh my gosh like let me show my work I don't want to be like hey you want to see my eyelid like just put the lashes on and I still like I didn't want to use them today just cuz I'm just like I'm not I'm not that chick I want to use my lashes as much as possible before they look crazy. So I had this pair. I've only used it two times. So I want to use it. I also bought the Huda Mercury Retrograde Palette. This one has plastic packaging, which is different from her $60 plus palette. Probably because it has like this hologram on it. This is the outer packaging. I'm not sure if this is limited edition, but it is like the holiday palette. Price is also bumped up on this. It's 67 instead of 65, which is 
if you're not familiar with the brand, you wouldn't notice that they bumped it up a couple dollars. I do see why she bumped up the price of these. Her mattes are pretty much the same and the shimmers are more of like a sheer topper. So just the amount of like the glitters that she put in is probably why it's at the price point that it is. This one looks like a pressed one here. This one feels like really wet, gold glitch. That one's really nice. Definitely one that you want to apply with your finger or with a silicone tipped brush. 18 gorgeous shades developed in four textures to mirror or fantasize cosmos. Da -da -da -da. Nine buttery mattes with pure color payoff. Six high shine cream metallics saturated with electrifying pearls. And I'll otherworldly dimension one glitter powder charged with sparkly particles for escalated shine. Two sheer multi reflective shadows which combine different pearls for a unique speckled glow. So, all those like different formulas is probably why she bumped it up a couple dollars. Like I said, I was on the fence about getting this palette because it is so cool toned and I am not that chick. I just, when I looked at it though, when I looked at the shimmers, I was like, ah, I'll get it. My hand was like covered in glitter and I was like I have to get these swatches off and I have to get this glitter off before I get in my car because the, the glitter will stick to my steering wheel because it's leather. I really like this palette especially for my girls that need cool tones on their eyes. So there is like a little sticker covering this because the graphic is so beautiful on it and they don't want it to damage in shipment. These are like super popular. I'm going to show you these. These are the Huda Beauty Nude Obsessions. And I got light and medium. I did not get nude dark probably. I'll just put a little correction here if I'm wrong. These are in plastic packaging. I like that she's upgrading to that. The, the Neon Obsessions were in plastic packaging as well. All the ones before that were in cardboard. This one for me personally is not for my skin tone even though I am not that tan. Whenever I put this on and then I went for this shade here, it was not deep enough for me. This one is borderline a blending color for me. I can work with the shades. I'm not too tan for these lighter shades. And I really love the shimmers as well on these. I'm gonna just swatch this. I keep going for like that pink one. Huda does not name her shades for the, the Obsessions palettes, but that one's really nice. This one really mim mimics the um, New Nudes palettes. Not necessarily the same colors because the shimmers are a lot different, but as far as like the blending colors, they're really similar to New Nudes. I haven't actually tried this one yet on my eyes. I just tried a few of the deeper colors whenever I was working with the light palette. That one's like a lot more up my alley a lot more warm shades really great transition colors for me just no colors to blank out i'll use the light one for that but again the light one i'll be using on more clients than myself and then really great rustic colors for the lid so this one's really great for the fall really great for my skin tone at the moment nude obsessions were 29 and then we have the fenty beauty by rihanna glossy posse mini glosses this here is $42 I need a table in here I really love Rihanna's glosses they have like shea butter in them to condition so it comes in this little nice holiday tin I would grab these as soon as possible they made a ton because we're getting a ton but it's one of those things that once they're gone they're gone type deal it has this felt packaging in there I really hope no one touched this one. Why? Okay, I need to be, I need to start opening stuff again. Let me open this and see if somebody used it. Hang on. The reason why I got this is because one, I love the formula. The regular gloss balm in Fenty Glow, really great for universal lips. But then I really want it fussy because I don't have that yet. The rust are limited edition shades, like new shades. We have Pretty Please Fussy, which is one that, that they sell. This one is a little bit pinker than a Fenty Glow. So it doesn't really work on all skin types like Fenty Glow does. This one is Confetti, which it kind of looks like Diamond Milk, but Diamond Milk has like a really cool undertone. And then this one has like a purple reflex. This one's hot chocolate like is lit really great for like if you want like that deep fall look or vampy look or even on darker skin tones um and this one is cheeky which is a coral really nice for not fall i wanted to grab it before they went out of stock because they're such great stuff again 
more for my kit. I do have a fancy glow that lives in my kit because it's so great. It's really um, great tack to it so it does last longer through the day and moisturizing as well like i said i have been going through the promos huh so like a holiday bonus was just like if you're a rouge you get 20 percent if you're a vib you get 15 percent and then if you're a bi beauty insider you get 10 percent and that one happens twice a year and then it's really popular for the holiday season that's when people really like start shopping for the holiday and then people wait for the sale this one i was really excited about because like during holiday it's it's kind of like a game. Is this gonna go on sale or not? When is it gonna go on sale? Should I grab it before they all sell out? Because stuff like this, it does sell out. This one is Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. And I always look for this during the year. Not every store carries Stila. I definitely like picking these up, especially if I don't have the shades already. And I don't. This one has one um existing shade and two limited edition shades to this kit and honestly i'm not sure which one is the regular shade because again i don't we don't carry stila in store but these are shades that i do not own which is wild to me because i've already collected like 15 of them but i put this one golden eye on top of eyeshadow it was really nice i should have did that today why am i picking up so much champagnes bronze girl which is different than um the other one bronze bell which has like a little bit more orange this one's a little bit more brown bronze and then we have rock and rose which is like a different shift to it it's like pink gold dual chrome with like the golden shift these are really nice as like eye toppers. I typically don't put it straight on from the applicator onto my eyes. I typically put it onto a palette and then spread it onto my eyes, which takes away from the saturation, honestly. But these are really nice if you're going to use it directly on the eye. So I did end up getting this. It was $12.50 on sale. Now, I'm not gonna open this one because I was gonna give this one, but I don't think I am anymore. Just because the person I wanted to give it to is too young, so she probably can't receive this as a gift, which is sad. This one is the Sephora Favorites, and this is the Superstars. This is like the favorites of the favorites. This was $48, value of $137. Legit, like if you count it out, like it's probably $137. It was on sale for $34. So for $34, you pretty much get the value of this highlighter. 50 Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in Duo and Mean Money in Hustla Baby. I have had that before. Let me go through this really quickly. So Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This one is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Exploded when it came out on the market. Something really unique. It has like that hemp in there to kind of help to hydrate. It dries down to attack, so it helps to grab the makeup. The only thing about it is that you do have to do like a foundation that's compatible with the primer we have a nars velvet matte lip pencil in dolce vita which oh i'm actually surprised that they put that one in there they normally put like a red in there but dolce vita, vita is a nice one it's a super popular shade in the the nars universe it's like a really good like mauve color we have a bite beauty agave plus daytime lip balm so that means it's the vegan one they did reformulate it this year so this one was really nice before but they made it vegan so that's great um, Urban Decay All Nighter in a super mini size. This one is one of our best selling setting sprays. Really great if you want your stuff to last all day like your foundation. We have a roller liner which is the liner I'm wearing right now. The thing I love about the Benefit Roller Liner is that it's matte. Not all liquid eyeliners are matte. They normally have like a sheen to them. Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eyeshadow in Metallic Taupe. I love those things. This is actually probably my first one. But when I play with them or put them on clients, it's really great because they glide on nicely and then they stay on all day. Another Better Than Sex Mascara and a mini and then again the highlighter. So a really great deal on this, especially if there's someone in your life that is like new to makeup that just needs like a whole bunch of stuff to start with this is really great lip balm you have a, like a lip liner you have you have your primer you have like brow gel brow gel like i've said this before on videos brow gel is really great for people that just want to groom their eyebrows and not want to put too much stuff in I mean, this is really great. You have your, your caviar eye stick, so that covers your, your eyeshadow. You have your little highlighter. I think the only thing missing out of this is really blush. And then you can kind of use this lip crayon as a blush, I guess. And bronzer. And you can't have it all in these sets, I guess. Okay, next item I got is another Sephora favorites 
kit and this one is give me more lip y'all when i tell you i don't want to open this one either and it's so sad I, so this one is give me more lip and they release give me more lip um seasonally but this one is a holiday one so it's a tear and share so you can kind of have the tear down the perforation right here you can either give this whole thing or you can take it apart and give it to somebody the side is balms and the side is lipstick this one is 42 dollars and a 90 dollars value was on sale for $25. When I tell you when these came out, people snatched these up. And these actually went on sale after the 20%. In here we have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which is really great for overnight or just in the daytime. One of our best selling like lip masks. We have the Dragon Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm in Green Dragon. It does go on translucent. It does have like that CBD in it as well, I think. It has shea butter, so it's really great for hydration. I haven't tried it personally, but it is one of our best sellers again. We have a Fresh Sugar in Rosé, the balm. I really love these. Number one choice for my lip balms. I always have to have one no matter what, no matter how expensive it is. Um, it is a treatment and it should have SPF in there. And then we have the Be A Roller Baby in your incredible roller ball gloss okay so it's a roller ball gloss bringing it back old school i do have two of these but i haven't used them because i'm terrible the shade is in choose your happy so that's good that i don't have it um, they do have like skin benefits in it this one has coconut oil so i'm assuming because i don't see the packaging that it's going to be like a more nourishing one we have a sephora lip stain in red velvet which is great because i have always red it's nice to have like a different one um, always red is a little bit more on the blue side and red velvet is a little bit more on the warm side these two here are the full size the incredible and the charlotte tilbury we just got charlotte tilbury in my store which is super exciting so i definitely wanted to get a lipstick so it's really great that i pretty much got a steal on the lipstick this one is matte revolution in very victoria they have pillow talk which is super popular very victoria is similar to that shade but it has a lot more sheen which is really nice and then we have a fenty beauty mademoiselle and this one i'm really excited because this one is one of the newer shades it's in flamingo acid and i did buy a handful a while back and then got a mini in one of these give me more lips and i'm glad that i don't have like a duplicate because like duplicates like hurt my soul it makes me not want to buy stuff like if it, i have a duplicate and then the last one is a Too faced peach kiss lipstick moisture matte long wear and lipstick in sex on the peach that one is a more peachy color for sure i do like that formula but i just don't own it personally but i also got another invisible and i'm gonna tell you my heart wrenching story this one here is eight dollars when i first bought it i was like mm, so expensive but now i'm like eight dollars give me because these are about to go away from my store i bought the cheetah one and it fell out of my hair somewhere and i lost it i've turned my house upside down for like a few things that i've lost that are like very small this is one of them and so i bought the one in prima ballerina i bought a pink one just in case i found the cheetah one but i don't think i'm gonna find it because i literally tore my house and my car upside down if you're not familiar with invisible it's similar to this one this one is an is a invisible this one my sister gave to me but basically it looks like a telephone cord but when you put it in your hair it's very like low it doesn't pull out your hair basically because uh, I can't think of the word right now. This one has like an invisible inside. And I love the scrunchie especially because scrunchies are especially great for the hair. But when you put the two together, you have a great hold in your hair. And it doesn't pull out too much hair when you take it out. It keeps my hair up for one. It does like lean to the side, but it keeps it up where I put it. So this is 9 Ways to Shine by Tarte Cosmetics. $35 for all of these. So nine colors in blushes and highlighters all together. Um, there's a picture on the side there. When I first put this out, before I saw it and I just had a display out, I was just like, okay, great. Blush highlighter stack for $35. That's what I was assuming. Each one has 0.077 ounces. So that's 2.2 grams. So a decent amount of product. Again, this is for me slash my kit um, because I like having little like travel size things inside my kit that still look luxury so these you just swivel open um, my hands are pretty makeupy and dirty 
not dirty, but like they're pretty makeup y. So I am getting like a few fingerprints on here. So this one is like the light one. You have your highlighter, um, a shimmery blush, and a matte blush. And the this formula of blush, I wish they made this normally for Tarte because the Amazonian clay blushes, they can be like since they're made out of Amazonian clay, they can be a little hard. These blush formulas, when I had a client ask me if they were cream blushes and I felt it, I was like, that really is super creamy. So I have um, a transitional bronzer to blush color here, another matte blush and another highlighter. And then this one here, the bottom stock, that's the deepest. They do have names on these two, which is crazy that they took the time to name these, even though these are holiday. Frosty, Sleigh Bells, and Shimmering. This one has Snow Kiss, Prize, and Peppermint Mocha. And then this one has New Year's Eve, so NYE, Decked Out, and Mistletoe. This one is re I really like because this one looks like it's more catered to a tan skin tone. This one here would be great on clients with deeper skin tone. I'm putting this on my wrist now that I opened it, okay. Last thing I have was, is another Sephora collection favorites deal. So this is best hair day ever. This was $25 and it was on sale for $12.50. It has a retail value of $54. Now this is the first time I'm opening this. Oh my God, it ripped because it fell. Oh. They have some best sellers and they have like stuff that is like great supportive products. So it has this nice little bag. It feels like a soft leather, but it's not leather. Those are products inside. I was hesitant on getting this. I have a few of these products that I haven't used up yet, but I really just wanted it for this silk slip. It's not super similar to this. This one, I'm gonna just open it and feel it because I actually, I'm not familiar with it. I've never touched one because they're normally in packaging. Right? So this one is more of a cord, but then it's made from silk so that it's not rough on the hair. A nice one to like go to sleep in, something that's like low impact. That's what I'm looking for, low impact. So one of these, let me look up the price for the slip. Um, a pack of three runs $20, so each one would cost like six, seven, almost $7. I already have this one in a set. This one is the Moroccan Oil Hydration Mask, and I, I still have it because I don't love wasting. So single-use items I tend not to use. I just let it rot, which is worse than letting it waste. Verb Ghost Dry Oil in Disco Edition. This is really great because it has glitter in it. And if I were to buy it for any, the two items that I want are were these two because I want the glitter. Their glitter I always like to have on hand just for because I work at Sephora and it's like fun to put in. Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. I haven't used this one personally, but I like Amiga brand. I use their Hot Tools. Um, volume and matte texture spray. So it gives you volume while keeping it matte so it's not glossy. Not everyone wants to have glossy hair. Uh, I also wanted to get it because of this one. This is the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. I like having dry shampoos on hand, especially little ones, um, just so I don't have to buy a full one. I did have to buy a full one recently and I was like sad. This one has charcoal in it to kind of help to actually clean the hair using that charcoal. So this is one of the best sellers at Sephora. And this is the item that I didn't want to buy because I already have it. This is the Way Way Spray. I have a full size. I have a travel size that came in a kit. And then now I have that one. I have two more items and I'm going to let you go. I'm going to hang up the phone. Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. Um, the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day line is really great for maintaining that clean hairstyle look. And this, this, this one is just like a little styler. Apply to dry, damp hair, and blow dry. The 5-in-1, I'm... I can't really think what that 501 does, but it, if I were to take a stab in the dark, some of those items would be volumizing and smoothing. <laughs> and then Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Protection. Ooh, this is nice. I need this. Um, I do have a lot of heat protectant on hand. I don't have a lot to maintain frizz. I do use the Bumble and Bumble Primer Oil Spray. So I really like that one for flyaways, heat protectant, all that stuff. It's always nice to have stuff on hand that I can travel with. And yeah, Murder She Wrote, that's all I have. That was an insane haul. 
let me ugh, pray that this video wasn't 45 minutes long but i have a feeling that it is really great deals um, stuff that you really should go get if you're shopping for people in your life definitely recommend heading out to sephora to find some sale items i don't feel like they have like a ton of like holiday sets this year which kind of makes me sad at the same time it's just like really great that everyone really focused on keeping these holiday items in stock so far a lot of the brands still have like a ton of stock of their holiday and we're not look, look at this this is the Anastasia lipstick it's not coming off with the Neutrogena wipe wild but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have reached it and especially thank you so 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 much. I'm just going to end the video here. I forgot my outro at this point. Um, thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on social media. My handle is at Makeup Animal on my socials. If I don't say it, I feel like the people that really watch me were like, you did do your outro. So you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. Anything you'll like, I am there. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye. Keep it cute. Bye.